hotel cleaners of Reddit what's your most memorable find left behind by a guest. 3 empty bottles of wine. About 2 dozen cherry pits scattered all over the floor and under the furniture. And red colored puke all over the bedspread. There was only one guy staying in the room. Oh I have two good ones. I worked as a hotel cleaner during undergrad. My first day of work someone left a hatchet in the bathtub. Also, someone completely decorated the room with framed family pictures and left them all there. I think their stay was only two days. They set some up on the furniture, but also legit hung some on the walls. On the positive side, some Aussies who left me a 12 pack of beer and $50 as a tip. On the negative side, a room for two which had been occupied by nine. And on the get some side, a room checked out for one night that the next morning had about six or seven used condoms in the trash can. Not me, but my best friend works in housekeeping at the hotel chain. I have heard some nightmare stories, but there are two that really stand out. The first was after a furry convention came through town, and there was an absurd amount of sex toys left behind. It's pretty common to come across them from time to time, but this almost had to be purposeful. The second was a massive unflushable shit. She refused to dispose of it and left the task to her manager. She described it as inhuman and the size of a football. It took a spatula and a knife from their kitchen to make it manageable enough to flush. I do maintenance. Had a group of part-time housekeepers that are mentally handicapped working with their job coach go into a suite with a joining door. There were three construction workers staying two and their supervisor. In the one side with a pull-out couch and DVD player, they found a full-size blow-up doll, empty small bottles of lube, used condoms, several beer bottles, and a stack of porn on DVD. Doll was on the pull-out couch and everything else was all over the bed. I worked for a hotel that had cabins, so I would be in and out all day in the hot sunday on one of those hot days I opened the fridge to find an unopened bottle of Dr. Pepper in the freezer part. It was perfectly slushed. It made my day. This was years ago. 2. By the tub empty gallon jugs of milk next to empty containers of Quaker oats. Madam that is not how you have an oatmeal bath. If it matters. It was whole milk. Not a hotel cleaner. But every time I check into a hotel. I check between the mattress and the box spring. I have found business cards for strip clubs. Condom wrappers for of them at once. One time. Needles and porn. Hoping for stashed cash from a bank job. But no luck yet. Vomit. Vomit everywhere. On the bed. On the floor. The sink was closed. And full of vomit. On the floor of the bathroom. In the bidet and the toilet. There was just a one man in that room. Another time there was this guy that used to come in every other weekend with this Asian lady. We knew that something was off because he used to leave her and go out for the whole day. One day he comes in with a different woman. She is livid. She asks if we have ever seen this man because she found multiple payments from our hotel on her business bank account. I almost died of laughter. Edit the second woman was his wife. I work night shift in a hotel part time. And I worked 16, 24 hours a week for about 2 years. I only had one time that the cops showed unexpected. Which was when I picked up a random morning shift I had no idea they did this. But the hotel shared check and info with the police. The cops had a warrant for our guest. Apparently it was just a regular thing that the hotel might have a wanted person staying there. And if that happened. The police would wait at the elevator figuring their guy would come for breakfast. Not a great vacation atmosphere. LOL. It never happened on my night shift because the cops did not get there until close to 8am. Back in my high school days circa 98, 02, I worked housekeeping for a hotel where we had lots of musical guests who played a nearby concert venue. Most of the stuff we found was pretty tame. Until one year after Ozfest. I was sent to clean the sweetened rooms that a certain shock rocker was using. What we found has stayed with me for years. There was a lot of bondage items. That in itself was not bad. No the bad part was the blood on the bonds. The walls. Sheets. TV it was just everywhere. There was also coke residue everywhere. Chains with locks around the tarlit. We were torn. Wondering should we call the cops. That is how much blood there was. 
In the end my managers vetoed that idea. Recently that rocker has had some serious accusations made against him. It makes me sick knowing I seen evidence of stuff when I was younger and could not do anything. At the time he was very popular and is from the state I live in. I'm not sure the police would have done anything but it has caused me to lose sleep ever since. Not a hotel cleaner myself. But there was a teacher at my high school who was known for talking about her life in class instead of actually teaching. One time she came to my class and students who had had her before prompted her to talk about her time working at the hotel in the UK. When she was in her 20s she went to work as a cleaner in the UK and near the end of her working experience she walked into a room to clean. Saw a sign on the door but ignored it since she could not understand English and walked in. She saw a man sitting on a chair. Dead. She was so shocked and stayed frozen for a minute until the police arrived. She really liked talking about that experience. And I'm sure everyone in school knew about it. I worked in two hotels in college. Both in Daytona. One was on the beach and the other was near the raceway. We had deaths in both hotels while I worked there. Old people who simply passed away. The housekeepers found odd stuff all the time. But my favorite story was about a race car driver's father. His son was a huge name at the time. Winston Cup champion. Etc. They were testing for the Daytona 500. Couple days before the race. Anyway the poor old guy had dementia I think. Their entourage came into the hotel one evening. The father whipped it out and took a bus in the planter in the lobby. There were a lot of people around. The race car driver was so embarrassed. One time teenagers wanted a glitter bath. So they dumped glitter in the hot tub. Took months to clean. The glitter kept shooting from the jets and we couldn't figure out how to clean it all lol. It just kept coming. This was when we made 3. 50 room about 10 years ago. One housekeeper found a half full bottle of vodka and drained it. If she brought it home her family would make her share. And she was the only worker in the house extended family too. She was about 4, 3 and just the wiliest woman ever. She's probably dead now. She had other problems. But damn could she clean. Me and my best friend worked housekeeping together. When we were 18 I only cleaned rooms for a bit until I got stuck in the laundry part. So I only found some unopened bottles of alcohol and a trash can with a few used condoms. My friend on the other hand had to clean a room with blood on the ceiling. Throw up in a trash can. And poop smeared all over the bathroom in the tub. On the toilet. And even some on the ceiling no one helped her clean it. I had quit already. Except a maintenance man helped her get the poop off the ceiling she quit a little later that week. Not a cleaner. But I renovate hotels for a living. This one property had us going into rooms. To change outlets the minute after the guests checked out. And before the cleaning staff got to it. Most were full of trash but one stood out. Perched in all its glory on top of a full trash. Can was something brown. Soft and lumpy double bagged and two tied off condoms. I'm very confident we witnessed the leftovers of an Alaskan pipeline. Obligatory this didn't happen to me, but to someone else. I study at a hotel school that operates its own hotel. We have first year students doing the physical work and second year students acting as manager supervisors with instructors above them. Once there was a guy who booked a room for a week. He paid for everything in advance, and because this was a simple hotel with no extra amenities etc he didn't have to leave a credit card. This man had explicitly requested for nobody to enter the room for the duration of his stay as he valued his privacy. No problem. He was always very nice to the students, and in general a pleasant gentleman. After he left, they inspected the room for cleaning, and, oh boy, that was a scene. The room was covered in jizz and feces. I'm talking on the ceiling, all over the bed and drapes, in the bathroom. It was everywhere. Unfortunately, he came under false identity. Turns out, he pulled that stunt in other small hotels too. He was never caught. The students who were working that week all got maximum grades for their efforts. Shitty situation through and through. I was night audit at the time, but I found a revolver. The worst thing was, the room was not empty a family with kids was staying there. The revolver was in a fanny pack that was under the heavy curtains in the back corner by the sliding glass doors it also had a compass, a map, and I think a granola bar. 
so I'm assuming it was someone's hiking in the wilderness pack they lost hotel was near a state park. I'm just glad I found it, and not one of the kids. We found a kid about 4 years old wandering around in the hollow dome. Naked. He was able to tell us his mom's name. So we brought in the police, opened the door, and there was mom. Passed out on the bed. The room was filled about knee high in garbage. A huge hole burned in the middle of the carpet, and she was surrounded by a rather large amount of vodka bottles. The police were really cool about it too. Found out the mom had left her husband that was abusing her and the kid. They called in a social worker and found her temporary housing. About two weeks later, I was heading home. Tired from a long day at work and was not paying attention to my speed. Cops pulled me over for speeding. The cop saw the hotel logo on my jacket and recognized me. He was the one that responded to the mom and kid situation. He said man, you go through some shit at work. I would not want your job. Just slow it down please. And that was that. Not hotels but have cleaned out housing estates arguably similar for a furnishing before. Usually the most left behind are holes that have been punched in the walls but found wood carvings of a snake and a lizard ones that I have kept ever since. Also there was a barn made out of a baby bottle but did not strike me to keep that one. This is not quite what you are talking about. But one summer at college our dorms were used as cheap hotel space for conferences. And I was a housekeeper. One day, during a Japanese conference, I serviced a room where someone had brought a really cool pillow. It was shaped like a round firewood log, but soft and like nothing I did ever felt. I liked it so much that I wrote them a note telling them how much I liked it. And they left me a note saying thank you. I found the pillow a couple years later at an import shop in the mall and bought it on the spot. Still have it. Too. In one cabin at the mountain resort I managed. An expensive bottle of unopened red wine. A pair of brand new socks with weed, leaves all over them, and a sack of mushrooms. At least 10 grams worth. Housekeeper and I split the mushrooms. Drank the wine, and she kept the socks. Overall, a good day for us both. I was not the cleaning crew, but I have had to travel a lot for work. There was this one place I stayed several times over the years. Twice on the same floor I walked into or out of my room to a covered stretcher coming out of the room directly across the hall from mine. I have accidentally left shirts, some food, a near full bottle of booze, and a plugged in charging electric shaver over the course of the years. But never a corpse. Stayed in a hotel in Austin with my now ex-wife and one. 5 year old son. The beds were on a platform, which prevented anything from actually going under the bed. My son was playing with his toys and a car rolled under the duvet, I think. Like a bed skirt. Hangs all the way down to the floor. Hides the platform. I reached under to grab it, and came out with to crack meth pipes. One broken with shards everywhere. Walked it down to the desk. Needless to say, we got an upgraded room. And our stay was free. I was cleaning room 514 bathroom after the first had checked out, which was a room at the very end of the east corridor. My friend from maintenance department came up to check some plumbing stuff in the riser cupboard above the bath. For those who do not know, it is a little door that when opened, reveals all this plumbing in a shaft going from the basement to the top floor. Anyway there are these sort of brackets that fucks the pipes to the wall, and my friend saw a rope knotted to one. Hanging down into the shaft. He pulls it up and there is a big bag tied to the other end that is, been hanging in the riser. It is quite heavy. So he puts it in the bath, and we open it. Inside there is a VCR and some tapes and cables. He gets it goes up to the in-room TV, and puts in one of the tapes and hits play. It is a woman ducking a horse. I think it was on for about 4 seconds, before he stopped the tape. It was truly a revolting moment. We were stunned. And after a moment of silence we agreed that whatever was in the other tapes could be even worse. He takes the whole thing to the day manager, and I clean the room, and send the pillows and blankets to laundry to be properly cleaned. I finish my shift, and ask my manager to check the room history. Turns out there is a VIP who stays regularly and always requests room 514. Next day I'm brightened by the manager to give a report on what happened. Afterwards he tells me that they checked all the tapes and found lots of bestiality but no child exploitation. 
Because the guesters. Quite valued they do not report it to the police. But they lock up the bag and contents as is fine with all lost property. A month later I'm on 5th floor and the VIP is in 514. He checks out early the next day despite having booked for 3 nights. He did not make any more bookings in the time that I'm still working there. We get a new procedure as room attendants to do regular checks of risers, air conducts and under mattresses. TLDR found plumbing porn. That was not about water. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing for more videos.